running the tubing conveyed perforating equipment into the well bore by means of wireline conveyance. To prevent damage to the bottom of the well or the equipment, caution must be taken when tagging the bridge plug. The assembly is slowly picked up to place the tubing conveyed perforating guns across the production interval. The production packer is set and the wireline setting equipment is pulled out of the hole. Production seals are installed to the bottom of the production tubing, then run into the well bore. Prior to landing the production seals into the packer, circulation of a lighter weight fluid is introduced to the production tubing, hence creating an underbalanced condition. It is important at this stage that a closed system does not exist. The presence of a closed system while landing the production seals into the packer would lead to hydrostatic compression that would result in a pressure spike affecting the hydraulic limitation of other downhole equipment. The production seals are now landed into the packer bore and the surface control equipment is installed. An effective underbalance now exists. Pressure is now applied to the production string from surface in order to rupture the disc of the RD firing head adapter. After a brief time delay, the casing is perforated at the desired reservoir interval. At this point, gases produced by the gun detonation actuate the auto-release mode of the mechanical firing head with automatic gun release, and the perforating guns are released and dropped. Production now flows up the string to surface.